this is an apple cake recipe. There are hundreds, maybe thousands, maybe many thousands of apple cake recipes. This is just one I happen to like and wanted to share with you. The ingredients for the cake part are one and a half sticks of softened butter, or three quarters of a cup, three quarters of a cup of regular sugar, four eggs, two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, which I just lost some, which I'm gonna just add in there quickly, and about half a teaspoon of a lemon rind. So I'm going to start off by putting my butter in here. I think I'll put my lemon rind in right now too. It really doesn't matter when the lemon rind goes in. Mmm, smells wonderful. And I'm not going to waste this because we're going to use the juice of this later on in the recipe. So I'm going to start it off here. And then I'm going to slowly add in the three quarters of a cup of sugar. Next, four eggs. Now at this point, I'm going to shut off the mixer for a second. I'm going to scrape down the sides because the mixer is really good, but it's not getting everything. And you want to make sure everything gets well and mixed. Okay. I'm just going to let that mix for about two or three minutes. All right, that's been a couple of minutes. I'm going to scrape it down again because you can see a lot of it's sticking to the paddle. I'm losing some. Okay. Now I'm going to add in the flour. I'm going to put it in all at once. Start it off slowly so all the flour doesn't go flying. Now I can increase the mixture. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting that into a spring form pan. This is an eight inch spring form pan, which I have uh, greased and floured well. I'm putting it on a tray because you never can tell. Sometimes these things might leak and I don't want it all over the oven if I do have an accident. So I'm putting it in this. This is the whole cake recipe. And you're saying to me, well, where's the apples? The cake is gonna bake, and then we're, while the cake is in the oven, we're gonna make an apple mixture that's gonna go on top of it. And then there'll be a, another topping on top of that. So let's just finish mixing this. All right, that's pretty good. Get my beater off. My oven is on at 350 degrees, and this is rather a heavier kind of a cake, so it's going to bake about 35 to 40 minutes until that old toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. So first, I'm gonna take that off. Just gonna plop it in there. smells nice. The, the lemon zest is just such a wonderful addition. Lemons and apples go very well together. And that smell is so good. And I'm going to take one of my little offset, wonderful offset spatulas, which I absolutely love, and just spread it around evenly.
All right, that's about set. Get a little bit more in that corner. On the tray, into the 350 degree oven, 35 to 40 minutes. While this is in the oven, I'll start working on the apple filling. Now's the time to make the filling for the apple cake. What I've done is I've taken two yellow delicious. Now you can use any good cooking apple. You can use a Macintosh or Gala or whatever happens to be a good cooking apple in your area. I just happen to have some golden delicious and about this size, a good size apple. I cut up to uh, peeled and cored them. And then I've cut them up and put them into a dice. Not that I need to put a dice, I could have put bigger pieces, but the dice will cook down faster because all we're doing here is we're making a type of apple sauce. So I've got the two apples in there. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar and about a half a teaspoon of, um, excuse me, one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm going to take that same lemon that we used in, in the cake part and I used the zest on half of it and now I'm going to use the other half and just add a little bit of lemon zest to this filling. Then all I'm going to do now, and I'm not going to bore you with it by watching, is I'm going to put it on the stove top on a medium heat with the uh, cover partially on, and I'm going to let them steam for a few minutes. I might add like a, a little bit of butter in here or a little bit of water too. And I'm just going to wait until they get really soft. And when they're soft, I'm going to mash them up and then I have to cool them because I can't put the hot apples on the cake. That has to be kind of cool. So off to the stove. I'll be back in a little bit to mash them. Here's our apple cake out of the oven. It's very, very hot. You can see how it's domed, but don't worry about that. We'll trim it up and we'll make it nice and flat. Now what I've also done is here are the apples that I was cooking before. I let them on the heat for about five minutes and I just kept stirring often because you don't want them to stick or burn on the bottom. And I did add one tablespoon of butter in the beginning. So that also helped um, two things. First, it greased the bottom of the pan. Second of all, it added a lot of flavor. So now I took it out of the pot. I mashed it up with a potato masher and I left it rather chunky. I don't want this to be smooth in a sauce. I want it to have a little bit of bite to it. And I put it in this bowl so that it would cool down a little bit faster. So I'm going to put these two things aside for the moment. They can both sit over there and cool. And now I'm going to make the marzipan that's going to be a lattice on top of the cake. So I have two egg yolks in here. I have a cup of ground almonds. I have two and a quarter cups of confectioner sugar and I have my little jar of lemon juice and I'm going to put just a half a teaspoon of lemon juice in there just for a little bit of extra flavor and then I'm just going to mix that up a little bit now I will put the ground almonds in with the confectioner sugar and this just helps these two get mixed up well before we add it to the egg. And here we go. I may have to add maybe a touch of lemon juice as we go along if this is not sticking together. Maybe a lot more lemon juice. Usually I do this in a food processor, but I thought I'd do it by hand today just to see how difficult it was. I think I'd do it in a food processor <laughs> again. Not that it's hard, it's just it takes a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more lemon juice, I think. Normally what you would do at this point is work this with your hand instead of a spatula, which I probably will do because I think it'll come together better. Let's give it a shot.
This needs to hold together enough so that you can roll it. My future says we're going to be adding more lemon juice. <laughs> But that's not bad. I mean, the lemon juice has a lot of flavor. There's a lemon in the cake. There's lemon in the apples. Yeah, I can feel it coming together. just a little bit more and then I think I'm going to turn it out onto the table. And what I will do with this now is I have to wait until the cake and, and the apples cool down. So I'm just going to wrap this in plastic wrap and I will just leave it at room temperature until the cake is cooled down. And then I'll show you how we put the cake together and how we put the marzipan on. There we go. It's holding together now. Okay. So I'm going to clean up my hands, wrap this in plastic wrap, and then we'll come back as soon as the cake is cooled, and I'll show you how to put all of it together. So here's that marzipan again, and I've been working it a little bit on the counter, and it's become a lot smoother. It's just a matter of just keep working it. And if you really don't want to do it that way, do it in a food processor, and it'll, it'll be really easy. I'm going to sprinkle some more on the counter here. That's confectioner sugar, not flour. A little bit on top. Now I want to roll it. Because I want to make a decoration for the top of our cake. We'll talk about the cake in just a minute. good enough. I'm going to clean this up a little bit and bring my cake over. Now, the cake cooled down. I took it out of the springform pan. I cut off the dome, like I said, and I flipped it over. The reason I flipped it over is if I start putting the um, apple on it and it's the cut side, it, it starts ripping at the cake and it just goes on a lot easier because this is the harder side. Here are our apples. And I will just put those on top of the cake and just spread them out evenly. Okay, and now I've got my marzipan and I'm just going to this is a pastry ruler it has a notched edge so you can go around cakes and stuff like that and I'm not going to try to make them so perfect but I do want them to just it's easier to cut them this way I'll just cut a whole bunch of them and then I'll decorate the top of the cake now, if you've done lattice in pastry before, um, you know, you put one down, lift it up, weave one underneath. I'm not going to get that crazy. I do it with pies. And 
And I'm probably gonna have leftover marzipan. I can just, if there's leftover, you just put it into a ball, wrap it up tightly, and then put it in, then put it in a zippy bag and leave it in your refrigerator for, I don't know, up to a week or two. And maybe you'll make something else that you can use it. Okay, let's start with that. And I'll put a piece on, just break it up so it fits the top. Another one. Now, another thing you could do to this cake when you're done with it, there's two ways of finishing it. You can take some apricot glaze or apple jelly, which is probably better in this case, and just melt it in the microwave and then with a brush, just brush it over the top and that'll make it a, give it a nice shiny finish. Or you can do the way I'm going to do it today and that's just give it a nice coating of confectioner sugar to finish it off. Yeah, maybe I can make that one through. Oh, good. I can get two out of that one. Might be able to use that one again. Okay, now like I said, I will just roll that all up, make it into a nice new ball, and then dusting of confectioner's sugar, and there is your apple cake.